Hello, how's it going? I know it's been a while. Uh, a lot of people are asking what the results revealed and um, probably getting a clue by now the way I haven't uh, responded lately. It, it's not exactly what I wanted. Um, we'll go over today what the results were, what I'm going to do about it, um, and what, you know, all the next steps. So let's get down to it. Um, let's uh, talk about the results first. So back uh, January to March, this tumor actually grew what we're figuring in at about a, what was it, 12.5% is what it grew from January to March. March to May, it grew 30% more since um, March. So that's not exactly what I was hoping for. That is not what I was told Finbendazole would do. Um, all the above. So now what? Now you're going to ask me, what am I going to do about it? <clears throat> what would you do? Um, a lot of people would go straight for surgery. Um, I'm actually going to give it two more months. It is only a 1.8 by 1.6 uh, centimeter tumor. I was originally about five centimeters, so it's still relatively small. Uh, the surgeon doesn't like that it is growing, um, but you know, that's what it is. It is what it is. I feel that even though we have growth starting to increase, the size of it gives us just a little bit more time. So what I'm doing is I'm taking these next two months and I am going to give it everything I've got. I have, in the last two months prior to this, I have changed my diet. I'm carnivore only. Um, I do cheat on occasion and do some leafy greens uh, with a zero carb, zero sugar dressing. Like in a, There's some Italian dressing out there that I use. Um, other than that, it's meat, cheese, eggs, um, meat, cheese, and eggs. Yeah, that's pretty much it right there. And a couple leafy greens on occasion. Uh, Pill-wise and supplements, I've really changed it up. Um, you saw the last video, and I'm going to show you what we got here. So, first of all, these apricot kernels. I am currently up to five of those a day. Um, gives you a real funky feeling. I mean, they create cyanide in your body, basically, and it's supposed to help kill the, the, um, the, t the cancer. This gives you a feeling of kind of like lightheadedness, um, seeing not really spots, but, you know, blurries. Um, it does give you a funky feeling. Um, not sure how many of those I'll go. I'm going to hold off at five for right now. Uh, there's a lot of people I've heard doing 10 and 20 and more even, but you really got to build up to that. But I'm going to give that a go. Still doing my clear lungs. I'm doing that once or one of them every day, three times a day. Sorry. So one of those every or three times a day. The graviola. I forgot about this stuff. I used it prior. Um, it helps cell regrowth. Um, this one's even way more potent. I was only taking 1,500 milligrams once a day. Now I'm doing 7,500 milligrams three times a day. So I do that. And also on the apricots, it's just five a day, not three times. Um, I've stepped up and I'm doing the turkey tail mushroom. Doing that one, three times a day. Uh, still doing the berberine just to help reduce any sugars and glucose. I'm doing that one, uh, three times a day, one of them. I've got green tea extract now. I was doing the green tea, just drinking it twice a day. Uh, definitely helps my kidneys. I can feel when I've got too much toxins in me. Uh, my back right here starts hurting where the kidneys are. So this is uh, seems to be helping. I'm not drinking green tea right now. I am only doing the extract. 
and that really seems to be helping. Uh, I still do my Centrum one a day vitamin. I know a lot of people, they uh, <clears throat> got on here and said, hey, you don't want to do those, something about it. Uh, one of the big things is solubility. This thing, if you put it on your tongue, it's dissolving almost instantly. So I'm not too worried about that. Um, I have stopped doing my turmeric. And I went to this curcumin. And I'm doing that one three times a day. One of them three times a day. So we're giving that a try. Uh, this is supposed to be what does it all for you anyway. So, you know, I'm going to give it a try. Uh, let's see, I still do the coral calcium. I have taken this from going three once a day to one three times a day. Uh, just really, it can't hurt to have a little calcium. Uh, my finbendazole, I have upped this one to six of them three times a day. That's almost four grams of finbendazole now. Now, the Tudka, I've started that. Uh, this is a one of them twice a day without food, without other medications. So I'm not doing it with these. It's really hard to squeeze all these this, these two in. Um, the Surapeptase, uh, I probably said it wrong, butchered the name, but most of you will know what it is. I, I'm doing two of these a day. Um, probably going to try to get them up to two twice a day. This is also an empty stomach. So without other medications. So squeezing these in is a little bit difficult, but remember the stomach empties in about 30, 30 to 45 minutes. So you can squeeze them in. Uh, still doing the CBD uh, from Sweet Peas CBD. This one I do at night, do a full capsule, which is about, oh, what was it? 0.86 milligrams. Uh, it's a lot, but it helps me sleep and it's good for inflammation as well. Still doing an Indica um, THC. This one, I it's a vaporizer. It doesn't burn. It doesn't get the carcinogens, supposedly. Um, but I do about two cycles of this. Um, so it, it doesn't have a lot of flour, but it does help me sleep very well. And it helps balance out the CBD. Still doing the CBG. I'm doing the 1.8 seven grams a day that's divided up three times and in, into capsules um, and every other day doing about one cc direct contact with the tumor in the rectum and then just in case because a lot of people have recommended this i i researched it and there is some stuff coming uh about it about rectal cancer I stepped up and got the human grade ivermectin. Uh, these are 40 milligrams per a big square, and I'm taking three quarters of a big square, so 30 milligrams a day, once a day so far on that. Uh, the other thing I'm doing is, and this does not fit with carnivore, but <clears throat> somebody recommended I juice carrots. They actually said that I need to do five pounds of carrots a day juiced, and it'll help with the rectal cancer. Five pounds a day is a lot of carrot juice. Um, I'm up, I'm trying every other day right now because I have in, uh, intestinally, carrots do mess with me a bit. So I'm taking that carrot juice and I'm, I'm doing about, my wife said she did six big carrots. It was the full container in the juicer. So I'm doing that. Um, when I researched carrot juice, I got, you know, a little cocky and I was like, okay, let's see. So carrots and cancer thinking I can make it to where Google will pop up something about carrots make cancer happen. Well, first thing that pops up is a, a article. It was a study actually on PubMed and <clears throat> they did a study of like 50,000 people in um, it, they were Dutch, I believe, and they, they, they eat three to four carrots a week. And they, they did this study, and they actually showed that carrots will help reduce rectal cancer. Unreal. So what do I do? I'm going to give it a try. 
like I said, I'm pulling out all the stops now. I'm not going to hold back on anything. Um, I haven't stopped exercising. I still do my main workout every other day. Uh, I've actually improved my times, upped my weights, and, you know, somebody put on there, be careful not to exercise too much because it's going to stress the body. Well, it's a different kind of stress on the body. I truly believe that's a good stress on the body. It's one that's going to help heal. Um, given a cancer, nowhere to live. They don't, you know, healthy body, hopefully with all the endorphins and everything else it creates, so be it. You know, it, it, it just, they don't, cancer does not like that. Um, so probably we haven't scheduled the next, uh, MRI yet. Um, they did want me to talk to them yesterday, but I just told them, don't even worry about calling. Um, we weren't doing the, that was my final day to make my decision if we're going to do a surgery or if we're going to just go ahead and, um, keep going with this. And I told them I'm going to give it two more months, make a decision then. I, I tell you right now, in July, if this tumor has not at least reduced growth uh, percentage, I'm going to have to do something. Um, I can't risk my life entirely. Uh, I mean, I'm taking, I've taken a, what, six-month risk already. Um, but knowing how what size the cancer tumor is and everything, I've made an educated, to me, educated decision. And this is what I want to do. So I'm going to keep going. I'm going to give it a try. Adding to the protocol, I know I said I wanted to keep it simple, and I did. I wanted to keep it as simple as possible. Some people are curing with a very simple. Um, but now I've just got to give it everything I can. So we're doing that. Uh, the wife and I, we are going to Hawaii. Uh, we're going to celebrate our 25th uh, wedding anniversary over there. We're going to renew our vows on the beach. I'll even make a video so you guys can be there and see see what we did for that. Um, you know, I, she goes, well, we can, we can postpone that. I told her, you know what? We're not going to let this cancer rule us. We're going to rule this cancer. We're going to go live. We're going to go enjoy. I feel good. Nothing's holding me back. So why should we stop? Um, you know, if you're not out there exercising, you're fighting cancer. I highly advise you to start exercising. Start pushing yourself. Show your body what you can really do. I, I, I am doing stuff that I didn't think was even possible. I am lifting heavier weights than I've ever lifted. I am on my... Uh, my uh, elliptical trainer more than I've ever been on elliptical trainer and I've pushed myself I've trained myself and like I said this is stuff that a cancer patient normally doesn't do and just in case you're wondering because some of you may be new to this channel I did do chemo I did do radiation I was clear I have not done it since I was cleared and it, after it came back, I haven't done any chemo or radiation. So if this does work, this is what does it. And the being healthy. Um, I drink plenty of water every day. I drink just in my workout that's anywhere from an hour and a half now to an hour and 45 minutes. I will drink 64 ounces of water. Um, I don't drink sodas. I don't do sugar. I, you know, I'm pretty... I got it pretty simple. Like I said, meat, cheese, eggs, water. Uh, I do do a little flavored drink that is uh, with sativa, um, which is a um, for ketones. So that, that follows along the ketosis values. At least I hope it does. Um, and it just kind of gives you that little uh, whatever you're missing that you need. But m mainly water. Um, other than that, this is what we're doing. I'm gonna give it hell, and we're gonna have more videos coming up. I know I'm slacking, but been busy as all get up. So just keep tuning in. I'll 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 keep you guys informed what's going on, and we'll we'll keep fighting this. And if you're fighting this with me, you know, keep keep going. Don't give up. 
And if you're praying, thank you. I appreciate every single one of you. All your prayers, all your thoughts, all your comments. You know, make sure you are sharing this with other people because they need to know if this is going to work or not. But until next time, get ready. Those coins have been shipped. Uh, so if you want a challenge coin, they're coming. And if, and uh, keep watching out for the next video. You guys have a great day. I appreciate y'all. Take care.